I'll be showing the brand new OneNote class notebook features inside of Teams that will allow an educator to set the default place where any new channel notes go, for example, the collaboration space or the content library. This was actually inspired by Dr. David Kellerman, who really wanted this feature to set his notes as read only for all the channels because he teaches in units. This update lets you switch between either choice and I'm gonna show how to do it. So first off, we're here in Teams and I'm gonna to go to the top here and choose Class Notebook. I've already set my Class Notebook up. Now I'm gonna to go to the Class Notebook menu tab here and choose Manage Notebooks right here. You'll see a brand new choice, Default Location for the Notes tab in Channels. So anytime I create a channel in Teams, it automatically also creates a Notes section in the Class Notebook. Not everyone understood that, so we've made that even more easy to understand, as well as the ability to set defaults. So by default, historically, it's always gone to the collaboration space here. Students can edit content. So I'll show what that looks like in this new user interface. So we're gonna close here. Now in Teams, I'll click the dot, dot, dot menu and choose Add Channel. And we're gonna choose the classic way, which is Group Collaboration. So this first one's called Project Team Red. I'll automatically show this channel for everyone and click Add. And I'm just going to add blue and green really quick here. So I have my three channels. Now, for example, if I go to Project Team Blue, you'll see a Notes tab here that was automatically created. With this update, we now have this little welcome page that explains exactly where this lives. It'll live in your Class Notebook's collaboration space. The educator who clicks Start Collaborating, now I'm ready to start going. And it's the same with Project Team Green and Red. Each of them have a welcome page. So this is nice in that it just explains exactly where this goes. So if I go to my class notebook, we'll show where that is in the collaboration space. Click on class notebook. We'll make this full screen and expand. Now I'll open this up and go to the collaboration space. And you can see these three sections were created automatically. Now this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to create some new units for channels, but I want those to be read only. So if I'm the professor, if I was Dr. Kellerman in this case, I teach by unit and I want all the class notes to be read only so the students can't change them, but I want the notes to be in that channel. So let's go back to the manage notebook settings in your class notebook. I'll choose manage notebooks. Now I'm going to set this option right here to content library. Moving forwards, any new channel will create a section in the content library that stays read only. And this only applies to new channels. This will not change the ones you already created in the collaboration space. So now I'm going to set it to content library. We'll close this and create some new channels. So I'm back in the general channel. I'll hit the dot, dot, dot and create add channel unit one and adds it. And I'll create two more really quickly. So now I have three channels that are all going to be content library created sections. So for unit one, if I go to notes, now it says content added here will live in your class notebooks content library. Now I'm going to put in my class notes and I'm just going to paste some content. So here's the class notes that I've been teaching and this automatically goes to the content library. It's the same thing with the other units. Now we'll show how this looks inside the full class notebook. So we'll go here, go into class notebook. Now I'll expand it. And when I open the content library, it's created those three different sections and these are read only for the class. So across the board, I've got a set of collaboration space and content library. So these new updates in Manage Notebooks allow you to choose collaboration space channels or content library channels, and then you have that flexibility. And so we believe this will be really nice depending on how you want to teach. You can teach all content library or all collaboration space or change in between. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.